much, and welcome back. You know, most of you here in Australia would know Dean Martin from his TV series, uh, his records, and his motion pictures. But I go back just a little further than that, to when I was in high school, and just part of the huge throng that used to jam the streets around the Paramount Theater in Manhattan and New York City, hoping to just get a glimpse of the hottest act in show business, Martin and Lewis. Well, since that time, of course, Dean Martin on his own has become a legend in this business, and a name synonymous with music and fun, not to mention the success, along with a sophisticated international image that would be the envy of most men, Recently, for example, Dino celebrated his 66th birthday in London, of all places. It was a tribute to him by the Variety Club of Great Britain, hosted by none other than Princess Anne. Can't get much bigger than that. Tonight, however, we have the pleasure, by satellite from Hollywood, and I'll tell you, I waited a long time just to be able to say this. Welcome to Australia, Dean Martin, here. You sure you don't have a machine down there with a whole lot of <laughs> No, just a... that's that was beautiful. Thank you, Dean. That's, uh, that's just a whole bunch of Australian enthusiasts who, who all like it. Tell me about the '66 birthday party. That sounded terrific. Did you have to say '66? No. <laughs> Could have said '55. <laughs> all right. What about this '55th birthday party? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was very fortunate. Uh, Princess Anne gave me a birthday party, and um, I was more excited and more nervous meeting her than uh, going on stage at the Apollo Theater. That uh, it just knocked me out. I I never met anybody like her, or any royalty at all. What? Only royalty I ever met was uh, Frank. <laughs> did uh, how many did they have all of English show business at this uh, at this affair? Yes, they did. Practically all the actors, comedians, and uh, etc. All show business was there, and it was it was really beautiful. Did and uh, they did some funny jokes about me, which was. They're funny guys out there. Oh, yes, yes. They got some very funny people in England. Uh, uh, the, uh, the appearances at the Apollo Theater, Dina, was that the first time you would have been there since, uh, since the old days when you and, uh, uh, and Jerry were at the, at the Palladium? Yeah, that's, that was about 30 years ago I was there. Mm -hmm. Right. So th this would have been much better. Is this your first personal appearance outside the United States, Dean? That's correct. I only work... Las Vegas and Atlantic City, maybe just around Chicago with uh, Sinatra. Right. And, uh, but the first time by myself out of, uh, out of the States. And were you nervous about it? Oh, very nervous, yeah. yes. I, uh, but they kind of liked me, so after the first show, I, I felt very good about it. <laughs> I think the TV show would have been the forerunner for all these things. Everybody really got to know you through the television, more so than the motion pictures, I think. Yes, they did. They did know me more about, uh, about me from the TV show, because they had it for a couple years running there. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, what, what about you? You, you, mentioned, you mentioned Frank Sinatra a couple of times, um, and you said they're working together. Does he still, do you still do those surprise appearances with each other on stage whenever you're appearing? Yeah, if we happen to be in the same city, like Las Vegas or Atlantic City, even if little Sammy Davis is there, we all just walk on stage and surprise each one of us, and uh, <laughs> just for a little fun, that's all. Everybody here is laughing about you saying, even if little Sammy Davis is there. <laughs> he, he is little, he's only that big. <laughs> <laughs> we know, he's been on this show many times. He drove in here once, Dean, in a, in a, in a police car, drove right onto the studio in here. And, uh, well, he's used to the police. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they think it's a... They always stop because they always think it's a little kid driving a car. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's interesting to me that the friendship has lasted for so long with you fellas. Uh, I mean, it goes back to those, what, what did they call it, Neil? The, the Rat Pack days, when you were all appearing yeah. in Las Vegas together. That's right. They were the rats and I was the pack. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about uh, uh, the Matt Helm. There are two James Bond movies out at the moment. And when I saw them this time, we were going to talk to you. We got into the discussion here, and none of us could figure out which came first, Matt Helm or James Bond, because Matt Helm was sort of an American James Bond, wasn't he? Well, to tell you the truth, James Bond came out first. Yes, then, then we did the uh, Matt Helms, but uh, James Bond, they, they were first. Yeah, and who approached you about the Matt Helm films? Uh, how did they come about, Dean? Well, I think we were at... Uh, well, my manager from uh, MCA approached me about the Matt Helm series, and I, they said it was sort of a James Bond thing, and so I just, I jumped at it, and uh, it was very successful, did four of them. Mm -hmm. I think it was four or three. Oh, it could have been five but or that six. Was, that, was a, <laughs> that was a long time ago. That was about three, four years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been seven or eight or nine. I have here, which I'm showing to uh, our folks over here, Dean, the, uh, the Nashville Sessions, which is your brand new album. And uh, this is not your first country album, Dean. If I remember correctly, you did have another uh, album of country music, too, didn't you? Oh, well, I... See, I have 31 gold albums, and 17 of them are all country western. Oh, so, so no stranger to country music, but this is the first time you've done one in Nashville. That's correct. That's the first time there, and I'm going back again in about two months and do another one. What's it like walking around down there in Nashville? Uh, do they look on you as a country singer, or do they look on you as Dean Martin, the old nightclub performer there? No, they, they, they look on me as uh, just a, regular, a country singer because they know I've done a lot of country songs, which, which I think, to me, are the best songs in the world because each song, country song, tells tells a real story. They're all real. I, what I like about country music is they're never afraid to say anything in country music. You know, they always come up with lines like, if I said you had a beautiful body, would you hold it against me? Or, uh, help me make it through the night. All that stuff. <laughs> you realize we're on the air? Yeah. <laughs> well, it wasn't a personal right. request. It was only a song title. <laughs> oh, oh. Do you know the difference between a dog and a fox? No. Three drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a lot of fun doing this album? Uh, when you get down to Nashville, do albums like this? Oh, yes. It was, it was a new experience because, uh, I mean, we did it entirely different as we did it up here. I, I can't explain it, but... It was entirely different. I, we had five of the main uh, boys in the orchestra, and then later on, Jimmy Bowen, the producer, would, uh, well, he'd, he'd make me sound much better. <laughs> in the early days, I remember they used to say you were a cross between Crosby and Como, but there's nothing like that anymore in the Martin. You're sort of a cross between Haig and Haig now, I think. Uh, Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, right now I'm just, uh, I'm just a, a cross. A cross. So, well, don't get cross at me. What's in the glass? Uh... Ice. <laughs> Ice and some uh, little uh, J&B. Right. Okay. Just J&B, just booze. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that there's a, uh, a new motion picture also in the making with Burt Reynolds and yourself and maybe some of the guys from the, um, Sam, Sammy and, uh, and Frank Sinatra? Oh, yes. Frank, Sammy, uh, Burt Lancaster, Telly Savalas, Dominic DeLuise, and, uh, uh, Excuse me, Burt Lancaster or Burt Reynolds? Well, yeah, oh, Burt Reynolds we already know about, but Burt Lancaster and Shirley MacLaine, Everybody's jumping in because uh, they all heard that we had a lot of fun on Cannonball One, so they uh, they want to have some fun too. 
Dom DeLuise seems to be one of those people that really tickles your funny bone. Uh, he was on your television series a lot, always seemed to make you laugh. Is he, is he that much fun to be around? He's funnier than that, and, and he's fatter than he looks. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it can be deceiving, can it? <laughs> yeah, well, when he takes a picture, it's a group. Is that... <laughs> <laughs> Dean, what about uh, another TV series? Will you ever attempt one? Oh, God, no. No, no. I'm lucky I got through those 15 years. No, I wouldn't do another. I may do, uh, they want me to do one, one, one show a month, and uh, I'm contemplating on doing that, but uh, never one every week. Mm -hmm. I I'm lucky I showed up for that one day a week. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they said you didn't really like rehearsals. That was part of your agreement, wasn't it? That you didn't have to come in all the time for rehearsals? Yeah, but they didn't know I was cheating. You see, uh, a guy, one of my friends there, he made cassettes, gave me three cassettes of the whole show. Mm -hmm. And so, during the week, I would have a cassette in my car, a cassette in my home, and a cassette in my cart while I was playing golf. So I had more rehearsal than uh, everybody thought. And when I went down there on a Saturday and I did all my things without rehearsal, they thought, they said, this man is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't brilliant. I, I just had more rehearsal than they had. That's all. Do you still play golf as much as you used to? Well, not as much. I only play about five times a week now. <laughs> oh, you've cut it back, have you? <laughs> yes, I, I, I used to play eight times a week. Well, do you still go to the golf course to play? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I still go there. Is, is Dean Martin contemplating? You've got... I, uh... Oh, sorry. I, I played yesterday, and I, uh, I hit two great balls. I stepped on a rake. <laughs> you want to get dirty. It's, it's okay all right with me. Go ahead. <laughs> Run your own race. It's perfect. <laughs> Dean, uh, you've got so many friends and so many adventures in the business. Have you ever, everybody in Hollywood seems to be writing books now. Have you contemplated writing a book uh, about your life? Oh, I wouldn't dare write one about my life. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 not not at all. I, I, I was coming up the elevator here, you know, and there was a, a little a lady there. Yeah. Nice looking lady. She looked up at me and she said, "You look like my third husband." And I said, "How many times you've been married?" She said, "Twice." <laughs> Thank you very much. Are you coming to Australia? They're talking about maybe you'll come here and work. I hope you do. Uh, well, why are you shouting? <laughs> Am I shouting? Yes. Oh, well, wait a minute. I was... I'm, a, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Go ahead. Dean? I, I, will be I will be down in Australia because I... Uh, and I got to get there fast because it's, it's downhill, isn't it? Yes, it is. All the way, right? <laughs> All the way downhill. Sure. I think I, I'll be down there... Maybe inside of eight months. Oh, I was going to say, I thought you said about an hour. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Anyway, we would love to see you here. Dean, if you come here, uh, I, I hope you get a chance to come on the show. I'd love to have you come on here, and maybe we could, maybe you'd even let me sing a song with you or something. It would be lovely. It would be my pleasure. I, uh... When I get there, I'll look you up. Bro. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dean. Listen, by way of saying goodbye, and I know it might be in a position, would you just sing two lines for me? Everybody loves somebody sometime. Could you just do that for us? Everybody loves somebody sometime. All right. Dean Martin.